Today marks the 10th anniversary of the day that terrorists destroyed the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York and a portion of the Pentagon by flying jetliners into them. They also attempted to destroy the White House and the Capitol in the same method. But the passengers on the jet thwarted the attempt and the jet subsequently crashed into a farm field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. It was a day so horrific that we simply refer to it as 9-11. Nearly 3,000 people lost their lives on that day, most of them civilians, most of them expecting a normal day of work, none of them expecting that when they left their homes that morning, it would be the last time that they would ever see their loved ones. The scope and violence and death of 9-11 rivaled a former attack on American soil. Sunday, December 7, 1941, Pearl Harbor. A day that President Franklin Delano Roosevelt said is a day that will live in infamy. I'm sure were he alive today or then in 2001, he would said no less of 9-11. But just as our military stepped up in 1941 to protect this great nation, so has our active military, our reserves, and our National Guard done so today. These men and women, many of them only 9, 10, or 11 years of age when 9-11 occurred, realize that freedom is not free, and they are willing to pay the price to make certain that you and I continue to enjoy a life free from worry of another attack such as 9-11. But the last 10 years have not been easy. We have asked our military to fight two wars one in Iraq, the other in Afghanistan.